Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to install Open Media Wall 6 on Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm using a 2GB version of Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, using a 32GB of flash drive to install the Open Media Wall. And we'll put all the repositories uh, on this 32GB flash drive. So let's do it. So to start with, I'm going to open Raspberry Pi Imager. And for this build, we need to install the light version of Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm just connecting my flash drive to my Pi, to my Mac OS, and it's connected. You can see right here, and uh, not now, choose a device. And I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 OS. For that, we need to move down raspberry pi os others and this one this is the os light version that don't have a desktop environment no desktop environment so we need to use this image otherwise it will not work now choose the storage so 32 gb version it's right here click on next and then you can also set up the settings here and for that we need to click on added settings because i already set up everything on my pi so uh, you can set the host name, username and password, and you can also set up your wireless LAN. Now you need to understand that if you select the uh, wireless LAN setup here, then once the open media will install the settings will uh, remove from the build. Or to reduce this risk, what we can do, we can directly connect our Pi to our uh, router. Once it's connected through the LAN cable, it will not release the IP that it's getting from the router. Now what we can do, go to services and we can enable the SSH as well. Options are just eject medium and finished and enable telemetry. So let's save it and click on yes. And then yes one more time for the consent to release, uh, to remove all the data from the flash drive. Click yes and uh, let me just put my password in. So the writing process started. Once it's done, I'll be back. Now the writing process is complete. We can remove our flash drive by clicking on continue and plugging the flash drive to the Raspberry Pi and connect it to the router and boot it up. So let me just connect it. Connect my flash drive to the Pi and uh, we'll boot the Pi and I'll be back in a moment. So now the Pi is booting up and for that we can just go ahead and open Safari and there is one tool that you can use. It's ping, ping.com you can visit and from here you can see the products and ping desktop. We can get it for Mac. Let me just install it so I can show you. And it's available for Windows as well. You can use it on Windows. Now we have downloaded Fing DMG. Let's install it. That's done. Let's open Fing. So this is done. Let's just click on sign in. And I can use the Google account. This is done. From here, I can scan my current network and check how many devices are connected on my network with all the details so this is a really good software you can use it for free and by using it you can find out how many devices are connected and you can remove the devices directly from this software itself so let's just click on see all devices and from here it will give us the options as well raspberry pi so we have two options raspberry pi raspberry pi two options are here so it gives us the ip address 5 and the other one is six. So it get two IP address because I have connected it to the router directly. So we can use either five or six. Once it's downloaded and installed the open media world, we will only see one IP address. Now let's just go ahead and do a SSH. So for that, what I can do here, click here and go to terminal and SSH. 
so the name i put pc mac at 192.168.1.5 let's select 5 and yes for the fingerprint and the password this is done so we are logged in so the first command we need to use is sudo app update okay i made some mistake sudo done in between it's downloading and updating the image what we can do we can go ahead and visit the website open media work on uh, we can just type uh, raspberry pi and here is the forum and this is the command that we need to use so copy this command go down and let's upgrade the raspberry pi as well done sudo app i keep on making mistake great so it's upgrading so it's done let's just paste the command and it start downloading the image of open mode uh, open media world 6 and it will take some time to install it in between you can see it's 6416 bits now once this is installed it will only give us one ip address that is connected to the lan and we need to configure the wi-fi because we don't want our raspberry pi to be connected to the router every time so let's just wait once it's done then we'll start with the wi-fi configuration and the other configurations that needs to be done when we install a new setup of open media vault 6 so the ovm installation has been done and you can see the connection is closed connection to 192.168.1.5 closed by remote host and it's almost done what we can do we can just open our thing again and refresh the connection to check what's the new ip for raspberry pi the lan connection because as i already told you in the beginning that it will remove our ip address that is connected via the wireless connection so let's refresh the page again and you can see uh, it's here let's just click on raspberry pi click here and we are on the five and the sixth one is removed so let's just close this one and uh, try to connect it again here on the five so we are connected what we can do we can just run the commands again update our pi update command and then the upgrade command so everything is good let's exit from here uh, exit from here as well close the terminal open the safari open the new tab IP is 192.168.1.5. Let's log in here. The default ID and password is admin and open media vault. So we we'll log in. Not now. So this is installation uh, of open media vault 6. It's done. Close and go to the dashboard or configure to personalize settings page. Click here what we need here. So CPU utilization is required, file system we need, and okay, memory, network interfaces we require, and the update and uptime will be also good, and system information that will be KFK and done. So this one is also finished. Let's just maximize the screen so for a better view. Now let's just go back to uh, network and from here, uh, generally if you click on it, uh, the host name is Raspberry Pi. Let's move to interfaces and here only one interface is there, Ethernet 0. We need to click here and load the Wi-Fi and uh, select the device wireless 0. And I can manually connect or if I click here, nothing happens. So let's just type my network name. 
let's put a static IP address. Save. Apply the setup. You can check whether it's available on X IP address or not. So the IP address changed to 6 192.168.1.6. We can also log in from here. Let's just try. Admin and then the password open media vault. Now done. Now we can just go ahead and change the date and time. So it's almost on the say, correct one, Asia Kolkata. And other things that we can check. Uh, network is done. Now we need to click on disk and here only we have one disk we can connect another disk and configure that as well because we have almost 28.64 gb available here we can use this one and we can also connect another drive and use that let's go to the users from users we have one user and uh, let's just check the permissions that it have ssh admin uh, okay just click here and uh, give one other configurations as well. Let's give Samba share and root as well. Go to permissions and the website permissions as well. Let's save and apply the changes. So it's almost done. Okay, now in the next video, what we are going to do, we are going to install Samba. Then second we'll install Docker, then we'll install Portainer, and then we'll move forward with installing other uh, Docker images onto our Open Media Vault and check out uh, how it works. So that's it for today. If you like my work, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, press the bell notification for my latest video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day.